I'm Steve at Upcycle Piano Craft. I'm sitting in front of a Samick piano. This is a uh, little baby grand, five foot one Samick that was manufactured in 1990 in South Korea. Uh, today, most pianos made by Samick, Yamaha, uh, Kawai are manufactured in factories in Indonesia and China, except for their uh, high-end lines, uh, for example, Yamaha, the Conservatory Series pianos, which cost 20000 more than regular pianos, are still made in their original factory, but most pianos today are mass-manufactured uh, in countries with inexpensive labor. Uh, this piano was originally made in Korea, um, where um, the, the original factory uh, is and was located. Um, I just want to play it and comment on the piano a little bit. Oops. <laughs> So um, the piano is in beautiful, like new condition. It came from a family's home that hardly played the piano. The hammers are in great shape. But something I discover about this piano as I play it, it the action feels a little heavy to me. Um, there's a piano next to it, also a Samick, very similar serial number, very close in manufacture time. And it plays a lot better than this piano does. What's up? Well, when I look at the movement of the hammer in relation to the key travel, I see that where the hammer is supposed to come up very close to the string, about a sixteenth inch away, this hammer is only making it up about oh, a quarter inch away from the string. So I'm really losing a little bit of the relationship between the swing of the hammer, or excuse me, the the, the movement of the key and the swing of the hammer. So my key only moves a small little distance, just over a half an inch perhaps, 10 millimeters probably. And that distance of key movement should relate to a full swing of the hammer, but I'm not getting that here. And so this action does feel a little short or a little heavy even, and when I play quietly, I don't necessarily hear every note that I'm pressing. So if I really wanted to be expressive with this, I might have to play a little louder so I am confident that I hear everything that I play. I can't talk and play at the same time, but um, in any case, this is an issue of regulation. It's an adjustment that has to happen uh, in the action of the piano. There are very many levels of adjustment in each key that um, can be made uh, to get the movement, the relationship between the key travel and the hammer exactly correct. And it will transform the feeling of the piano and make it just delightful to play. The reason it needs this adjustment is from the factory, pianos are adjusted out the door to some certain level so that they're saleable, uh, they're good to play when they go out the door. But after all of the, the, the felts, uh, the, the leather, uh, the soft components in the action get compressed and it changes that relationship between the key and the hammer uh, in time. Um, so periodically, <clears throat> maybe after five years or so, um, a good piano would need to be regulated. If it's an inexpensive piano, a lot of times they need to be regulated just months after they've been in the in the showroom at the store. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, it's a very nice piano, but I'm not quite happy with the feel of the action. So we'll do some work on this and come back.
process did take quite a little while, but it made a dramatic difference in the playability of the piano. You can speak expressively with a whisper now uh, playing the piano. It just feels your nerve endings. quietly, a little crescendo. Not a note is missing. I used to be afraid to play quietly because the notes wouldn't always play, but now you don't have to think about the instrument when it's correctly regulated. So thanks for watching.